Hi, good morning. Welcome to Storytime in the Book Nook with Squirrel and I. As promised, we are going to read about apples. I went to the Apple House at the Arboretum and I got my favorite kind, Sweet Tango. What's your favorite kind? Could it be Honeycrisp or possibly one of the newer ones, First Kiss? They're pretty and these are perfect lunchbox size. So my homework for you guys is to go find your favorite apple this fall. It's fun to try all of them. Squirrel, should we get started? Okay, here we go. I hope you can stay for one or all. Click on those listening ears. Use those scientist eyes and get snuggled in. Here we go. The first one is It's Fall. It's fall. Make sure you can see. I skip and swish through autumn leaves. They crunch and they crackle under my feet and whoosh and whirl all around me. Red, orange, yellow, gold, and brown. A wind swoops up. More leaves fall down. Make your leaves fall down. It's fall. I help rake a big, big pile of leaves. Whee! I jump in and I sink deep, deep, deep. Leaves prickle and tickle all over me. I wait and wait, then pop! It's me! Can you see the face? Do you know what that is? Monarch? We hear the wild honking of migrating geese as they fly way up overhead in V's. A hawk soars up in a sweeping glide, and there go some monarch butterflies. They're all heading south where it's warm, because colder days are coming soon. Have you been seeing monarchs too? It's fall. Animals are hiding all around me. They're getting ready to hibernate in deep, deep sleep. Ladybugs hide in pine cones, under bark and leaves, and earthworms tunnel way down in the earth so they don't freeze. You see those tunnels? It's a lot of work. Frogs burrow in late bottoms under the mud, and a raccoon finds a safe spot in a hollow log. A chipmunk stores piles of seeds underground. Soon they'll all sleep for a long, long time. Gray squirrels scamper around finding acorns and nuts. They'll be awake all winter, so they have to fatten up. Take your time and look at this page. Lots to see. I'll point to some of them. Raccoon, chipmunk, squirrels. It's fall. The air is turning crisp and cold. It's time to wear our warmer clothes. We put on jackets and pants and long sleeves to keep us warm when it turns breezy. Have you been getting out your warm sweatshirts? I have. The sun goes down so early now. We wait and watch the sky grow dark. We see the great big harvest moon rise up gorgeous, isn't it? Wherever we go, wherever we go, we find flowers and weeds drying out and scattering seeds. We float silky parachutes of dry milkweed. Birds land on our dry sunflowers and eat seeds. Next week, I'm going to show some of the fun dry things that I found on one of my nature treasure hunts. I hope you go out and do that too this week. Tall dry cactus <clears throat> whisper and rattle. Crisp leaves swish and rustle and chatter. It's fall. We like to always practice our chickadees. 
What do they say? Chickadee dee dee. Can you do that? You'll hear them when you go to the apple orchard. We collect acorns and pine cones and pretty leaves. I choose a great big pumpkin and we carve a face and we roast the seeds. That's pretty good carving. One day in our garden, we dig some holes. We plant crocuses and tulips and daffodil bulbs. I try to picture how they look for a long time from now when they finally come up. <clears throat> Pretty, I love daffodils. <clears throat> then one day I notice that the tree is all bare. Leaves have fallen everywhere. There's an icy chill in the air and soon, very soon, winter will be here. But right now, it's still fall. I gather handfuls of autumn leaves and I toss them up. They swirl down on me. It's fall, it's fall. I love it, it's fall. Can you shout that out? I love fall. Nature activities to do. So it has some activities at the back of this book. Some of them as an example is go to an apple orchard like we're talking about today. Visit a pumpkin patch, collect autumn leaves, and you can place them in a big book and press them. That's what I'm going to do this afternoon. Make leaf rubbings, dry flower seeds, all kinds of fun things. It's fall. Go celebrate. Squirrel, which one should we do next? What do you think? Squirrel's hungry for apples. I told him he could have one after we're done with story time. So we'll start with the apples. Apple harvest. Fall is here. It's fall, cool breezes blow through the apple orchard trees. Turn this so you can see the whole page. It's a big book. Red apples hang down from the woody branches. The ripe apples are ready to be picked. Har fall is harvest time. Look at that beautiful page. Doesn't it just make you want an apple right now? Picking apples. Farmers pick the apples by hand. Workers sort the apples by flavor. Mm -mm. The apples are put into bags for shoppers to buy, just like the one I showed you, like this. See? I love that apple house at the Arboretum. Fun with apples. Apples make fun treats. Crisp caramel apples and are sticky and sweet. That's always a fun treat. Hot apple cider warms you up on a cold day. I had mine when I went there. It is yummy. Apple slices fill the inside of apple pies. Other signs of fall. The apple harvest has begun. What are other signs that it's fall that you can see today? And this has a glossary of all the different words. Breeze, cider, flavor, harvest, orchard, ripe, slice, and sort. Apple harvest. Have a great time when you go. When I was there, I saw lots of fun buzzing bees. There was a lot of energy. I saw grasshoppers hopping around. So I thought I have to add in this fun, colorful book, Bugs, 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 before winter approaches here. 
They always fascinate me. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I want to see bugs. Butterflies that flutter in the sky. Spotted ladybugs that go creeping by. Friendly daddy long legs that never bite. I had a whole tip picnic table full when I was camping the other day. I think they wanted to join me for my sandwich. Grasshoppers hop, hop, hop out of sight. It's my favorite. What is your favorite bug? Maybe you can find one today. A fuzzy caterpillar with tiny feet. Oh, they're everywhere, aren't they? On all the trails right now. See how many you can count. All different kinds. Bees buzzing by flowers that smell so sweet. I like that bee's face. A long line of ants that work so much. Never stop, do they? Roly-poly bugs that curl up when you touch them. Have you ever seen one of those? Bugs, bugs, bugs. I can see buggy bugs all around me. Makes life interesting actual size of the bugs. Here. Why don't you pick out a favorite? <laughs> Bugometer. That's a fun page. This one actually when you come in you can go through it. It says can it fly? Where does it live? How many legs? Does it sting? All those fun facts that you can learn as a little scientist. Pretty cool. Bugs, bugs, bugs. The last one I just had to include because this time of year I'm always even more filled with ideas. There's something about fall that's very energizing. What are your, some of your fun ideas? So this is called, what do you do with an idea? I bet you have lots of creative ideas about so many things, and we would love to hear about it. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't even belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what other people would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. <laughs> Sweet face. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. I 
I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. Sorry, I have to show you the picture. <laughs> and many of them did. They said it was so, it was, oh, it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and it would never become anything. Hmm. Well, that's not nice. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. That would not be good. Here, I'll show you that. I almost walked away from that idea. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay. If it's different or weird and maybe a little bit crazy, I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. What idea do you have today that you can give a lot of attention to? Maybe it's coloring a special picture for somebody or making a nature collage or writing a story. My idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I love that page. Look, all snuggled up. I like being with my idea. It made me feel more alive. Like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it is good to have the ability to see things different. See that? I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. How amazing is that? You see, I put it way up close. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. I hope fall makes you energized to share lots and lots of your ideas and take time for them, pay attention to them. They are important and valuable. Happy fall. We'll see you next week. Do you want to say bye, squirrel? He was hiding. Sorry about that. Bye. We'll see you soon. Get outside.